Yo, this is Jagged Edge, and you're watching Bossip.com. So keep it locked, because we do. Cheer, J-E, y'all. Man, to be honest, we wasn't really all that excited. At first, we was kind of apprehensive, because I think um, historically the show kind of, it kind of covered those groups where tragedy struck, you know what I mean? Or they broke up and, you know, they penniless or something like that. And we felt like none of those stories was us. Jagged Edge, like, even though we may have been off the radio scene, we've never stopped working. We on the road, every, like we in Detroit this weekend. We in Chicago after that. So we've never, we never come off the road. We, we stayed um, addressing and touching our fans on a nightly basis, you know what I mean? Opposed to just putting music out on the radio. You know, when we first came out, the whole social media thing wasn't, you know, it was almost non-existent, you know. Um, and I guess, you know, a couple years later, things had started to pop, but even so, even at that point, people weren't marketing and, and advertising and gearing up for social media the way they do now. So I think, you know, just missing that that whole piece of, of what's going on in a sense, you know, people getting a chance to see the inside or see, see it from the inside is going to still be a little bit of information and things that they didn't know just because we are from a different almost an era when it comes to social media, you know what I mean? Like the artists nowadays, you ain't gonna have to do no biopics or 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 docu or documentaries. We already know everything about them dudes. <laughs> All right, real talk. I, yeah, yeah. That's, that's that's why we never broke up, man. There's a need, man. Our fans, you know, you still have fans out there and escape just by them getting back together. I love it, man, because eventually they were gonna have, they were gonna have to do it anyway. Like your fans make you do that. They put out too much good music not to be out there, you know, giving it to the fans. I mean, we we do shows with like guy. Guys got back together. That's one of my favorite groups coming up. And I think, you know, with the late 80s and 90s, the boy bands, they kind of tried to stick their, stick their nose in it. But th this thing is an art form that has originated with black people. So when you take all the groups off the radio or off the, off the uh, TV or whatever, you're taking a piece of black culture away. You know what I mean? So we just here for the culture, man. Like we know that we know that our fans love this music, and we know that people are, in general love to see united. You know this this unity thing. They love that. Chris Brown would be dope. Um, and yeah, also I just want to give Chris Brown a big shout out because he did a big big show here in Atlanta, um, and he asked us to come on stage with him and do a couple of records, man. And it, I mean, that was just like. You know, that was huge for us, man, because it's like, you know, we already like dude the whole nine. We love his music. But then for him to, you know, invite us into his audience, you know what I mean? Like, that was really, really dope. So, yeah, I mean, Chris Brown would definitely be one. Definitely Yo Gotti. I love Yo Gotti. Um, I ain't going to say it's a whole lot out there. <laughs> but Yo Gotti, Chris. I think for up and coming people, I mean, definitely Chris, I think we all, you know, unified on that one. Um, up and coming people, I think. Well, we did just do a song with him, but Jacquees, I like Jacquees. We did just do a song with him for his album, and it's a real dope song, so that's done. But just in the future, I like to keep working with him. You know, we've known him since he was a young, young dude anyway. And it's just good to see where, where he started and where he's going, you know what I mean? So I'm proud of him, and I definitely want to do some more work with him. All right, well, I think um, one of the big messages I've been trying to put out there for the world is that <clears throat> forget what you forget the the other business partners we've had in the past. Like this new project is all jagged edge. We are a black owned record label. We are a black owned music company. So at the end of the day, if you can't find no other reason to support, as much as we talk about building up our communities and building up our own, if you can't find no other reason to support, this thing is black owned. So yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, and also everything, just like Brandon, just to add to what he was saying, everything on this night, this, first of all, this, this is our ninth album. If you didn't hear the first time, this is our ninth project. And everything on this project was produced by Jagged Edge, written by Jagged Edge, all vocals by Jagged Edge. No features, no nothing. So all in-house. So whatever, hey, trust me, you're going to love it, man. It started off as six songs. We're just gonna put it out for the fans when the unsung come out. It's 16 records on this project. So make sure y'all, hey, go go pick it up, man, definitely. I think that it is our job to, to leave a few gems. And one thing I do wanna say first before I even do that is thank you to people like Master P, who told us you know, 20 years ago, you need to own your own masters, which is one of the reasons we're doing this the way we're doing it. We own our own masters. So whatever comes out of this music, if something you know becomes a bigger hit 20 years later, they use it for a commercial or a movie, we own our masters. You know, and that took 
you know, listen to people like Master P and other, you know, influential, prominent people who did it the right way, who said, hey, yeah, you're a talented artist, but you ain't gotta just take the thing they put in front of you. Believe in yourself enough, bet on yourself enough, and, and, and change up the, 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 the dynamic of the situation. So that's what we try to do. And, you know, the gym I wanna leave for these kids is exactly that, believe in yourself, man. Them, them people in them offices don't hold the key to your life or your success or n nothing, none of the above, your progress, none of it. Yeah, the name of the ninth album is, is entitled The Layover. On July 9th, it's coming out on July 9th, it's our ninth album, and also Unsung is aired that day at 10 p.m. the same day. So make sure y'all download the project in the morning, listen to it all day, and y'all be ready for some, for some good TV. Hey, if you're in the Atlanta area, we at DS17 celebrating the whole thing. We're doing a listening and viewing party. So if you're in Atlanta, y'all come kick it with us.